up guys? It's G Money, also known as Gavin Smith, and you're watching The Blind Runner. How's your day going today? Mine's going pretty good, you know? Today's video is about how to do long runs. And uh, since I have a long run tomorrow, a 19 miler, so how should you run a long run? And um, well, you don't want to start off way too fast. Your mile time should be consistent, okay? And they should be slower than normal. Okay, if you're holding, like, let's say you run, like, five miles one day, and you're holding a good pace. You don't want the same pace in, in your long run. You want to slow it down, and when you're out there, you want to stay relaxed. And don't let your brain say, man, I'm, I, I'm running long today. I, I can't do this. I can't do this. Don't let it say that, okay? If you say, if you let your brain talk you out of it, you're not going to last long. You're not as going to last as long as you want to go. So you gotta kind of fight that out and and uh, just stay calm. You know what always helps me is listening to music or something, and uh, and I just sort of listen to it. You know, it's relaxing for the first ten miles. I keep a, a consistent pace. I go out there and uh, you know I'm just holding a good rhythm for the first ten miles, and then at mile ten you're gonna still you're gonna feel start feeling fatigue for me anyways. And so you got to just keep mentally, stay mentally tough, keep calm, um, and yeah. And you want, you just want to keep pushing. Mile, mile around mile 13, mile 14, you gotta stay, you're going to start to feel more pain, okay? And that's the time they should start fighting, okay, for the last six, five miles. And then mile 17, you're going to, you're going to start limping and, uh, and you're not going to feel like you're running anymore. Okay. But for the last few miles, you just got to fight. You got to fight. Okay. It's like when Rocky was in the, in the ring against Apollo Creed. That's how you feel in the last two miles. I mean, Rocky was doing everything he could to, uh, you know, stay up and not give up. And uh, that's what you got to do for, you, you know, you marathon runners out there. In the last two miles, you're like, uh, uh, uh. Okay, and <laughs> um, um, it's it, it's painful, and yeah, and Rocky was doing everything that he could to stay stay in the fight and not give up, even when his manager Mickey Goldmill told him to stay down. Here's some footage of Rocky in the 14th round. stuff right there so never give up okay um even when you want to just keep fighting okay top three hardest sports that i think are the hardest when it comes to endurance are and don't be uh criticize me out there so um i mean leave a comment down below if you have another sport that you want to add in or something but the top three sports i know of that are hard when it comes to endurance and uh are probably ultra marathon running, which is anything above 30 miles that you're running. You're not stopping, okay? Just go ask David Goggins, former Navy SEAL and uh, former ultra marathonist. Um, he uh, ran the Badwater Ultra Marathon in Death Valley, and the finish is on Mount Whitney. And it's 135 miles, and you're in the freaking heat, man. 100 degrees plus. You're out there for 30 to 40 hours. No sleep, no breaks. Uh, you're gonna get food now, you're gonna get food, uh, some water, but you're out on your feet for 30 to 40 hours, which I think is probably one of the, which I think is probably hands down 
the toughest thing to do uh, when it comes to sports. Um, number two, probably boxing. And I want to add another one in there for number three. Probably swimming. You know, I can't swim to save my life, okay? I tried it before. I can swim for, uh, for a little bit, but as much as I run, there's no way. There's no way. Um, and uh, then running, like, you know, long distance running at number four, which is like 10Ks, half marathons, marathons. Um, yeah. So um, those are the top four hardest sports I think there is. If you have another one, just leave a comment down below, okay? Yes, football's hard physically, okay? It's hard physically, but but uh, I don't think it, it's as hard endurance-wise as those other four sports. And, yeah, football is a hard sport, so um, I already know it's a hard sport. And wrestling is too, okay? Wrestling will probably be number five for uh, endurance sports. So, yeah. I mean, I've, I've known some pretty tough wrestlers, um... And, uh, at our school. And, uh, they worked their butts off. Um, so, yeah. And I'm sure it's even harder in college. Way harder in college. So, that's your video for today, guys. I'm gonna, uh, do a vlog later tonight. So, stay tuned for that. Um, so, yeah, just remember, when you, if you, you runners out there, if you're doing a long run, just stay calm, listen to some music. Uh, just breathe, okay? Just breathe. Just go. Just go. Stay relaxed. Don't panic, okay? Panicking is the worst thing to do when it comes to long distance running. Um, I panicked so many times in my, uh, running career, and it didn't go well for me. Okay, so just stay calm. Um, and when your brain starts saying all this crap to you, like, after the 10th round, like, we gotta stop, we gotta stop, we gotta stop. Just fight it off, okay? Fight it off, okay? And just stay relaxed and keep breathing. And then 13, 14, mile round, mile 13 and 14, you're going to start to hurt physically. Mile 15, 16, 17, you're really going to be hurting. And then the last few miles, just hang on. Just hang on. Um, don't even worry about the time anymore. Just hang on the last two miles. All right. So yeah, that's your video for today, and like I said, I'll be posting a vlog later tonight, so have a good afternoon. Thank you for watching this presentation, brought to you by The Blonde Runner.